In this clip, you will learn how to stop worrying about making mistakes and start playing with poise. This is so important because everybody at some point starts to play afraid. They start worrying about making mistakes. They tense up. You might feel uh, like you're overthinking, you're hesitating out on the ice, and you're playing safe. And so anytime this is happening to you, don't worry because it happens to everybody. And so it often will happen to you in situations where you're facing a lot of adversity. Things aren't going your way. Coaches yelling at you, feeling a lot of pressure, um, not getting the playing time you want. These kind of situations can really spark this fear of mistake mentality. And so I want to share three really effective ways that you can start stop worrying about making mistakes and start playing with poise so that you're confident on the ice. You're going out and making plays, trying things, um, and you're very poised and confident while you play. Okay, So these things work. Uh, we use it with our athletes all the time, but you have to apply them. So the first big thing um, that I want you guys to understand to start playing with poise is that you have to ex- actually accept and let go that you might make some mistakes. Okay? completely counterintuitive. What most people will tell you is stop thinking about mistakes, don't worry about it, uh, and forget about it. Well, how the heck are you supposed to do that? That's not a real thing. And so, uh, and by doing that, you actually just start thinking about it more. And it makes you tense up even more and get more worried and stay worried. So that's not a real thing. It doesn't help. So what does work, this first most important number one thing is to accept it. Accept that you might. Uh, It's not saying that you will make mistakes. It's accepting that you might. And like take, for example, like I wish I could tell you you're going into your next game and like you will score. You will get the outcomes you want. You will perform well um, and you won't make mistakes. But I can't tell you that. Nobody can tell you that. You can't really tell yourself that because you're human and we all make mistakes. We can't guarantee outcomes and results. Not necessarily anyways. We could try, but often doing that will actually make you more afraid and it's not going to allow you to get over that fear of making mistakes. So again, the way I like to phrase this is it's a feeling part. So you're not actually doing anything. Acceptance is not something you do. It's something you feel. And so usually the thing you're worried about most, turning the puck over, making a mistake, feels unacceptable. And so that's why it's so important to be willing to accept it. It's not an ability problem here. It's not like some people have the ability to accept you know, mistakes and others don't. It's a choice. Are you willing to accept it? And one of the reasons to help you be willing to accept it is again, remember that you're human and not perfect, just like the best players in the world, right? Like take Crosby, for example, had a 20 game uh, plus scoring drought uh, a few years back, like didn't score for 20 plus games, one of the best players in the world, right? So uh, it can happen uh, to them, it can happen to you, it happens to everybody at times, we make mistakes and don't get the outcomes we want. So we have to accept it and let it go. Now, the second big tip is then to breathe or relax your body because usually what's happening, if you're starting to get worried about mistakes, your arousal level is going up, which means your mind's racing, your body's tensing up. And so that's not going to be good for your performance. And to, to help you further let go of that and play with poise, we need to relax a bit, not like fall asleep, relax, but get to that optimal arousal level where you're relaxed yet focused. And so some of the most common things we use are deep breathing or tensing and relaxing your muscles. So you want to find something that works for you that's going to get you back down to your optimal arousal level where you're relaxed yet still focused. And so you can still be very intense. This is slightly different than intensity. A lot of people will get those two mixed up. It's about being relaxed, yet focused, and so breathing, um, tense and relaxed muscles, again, all key helpful things for that. But I don't, and I want to reinforce here at this point, you can do all the breathing exercises you want. If you haven't accepted and let go of the possibilities or the things you're worried about or frustrated about, not going to, the breathing's not necessarily going to work that well. Now, the third big thing I want to, you guys to take away and focus on is being process focused. And so after we've accepted and let go and we calm down, you want to be very clear on what the process is for you and focus on doing that. Most athletes, again, are going to get caught up in being worried about mistakes because they're too outcome focused. And it's like, oh, I need to get these points or need to score, I need to get the playing time. That's great. You can want all of those things, but we don't want to be necessarily focused on that while you're playing. You want to focus on what you're doing that leads to the outcomes, you know, protecting the puck, playing with your head up, playing with speed. These are all the things that you have control on. Um, over and that's going to help you then lead to the outcome so get clear on those you want to go and play at your optimal arousal level and what is it that you're going to do while you're playing and you get you clear your mind of accepting letting go and then get clear on what you want to do now you've reset and so that kind of gives you a bit of an intro also what we often refer to as the reset routine it's about accepting letting go calming down and then refocusing on what you want to do 
So lots of big tips in there. This is a, um, a big problem that a lot of athletes will experience uh, at different points in their career. So if you have any questions, definitely reach out. We have different programs that can help you walk through this in a little more detail. But certainly there's some tips for you guys to take away today and start applying in your practices and your upcoming games. All right. Uh, have fun out there. We'll see you in the next clip.